So much of our capacity you know, stems from peak efficiency and it really, really matters in basic setup positions, especially when your athletes don't have a framework for any of this stuff. Spending the time, getting it right really makes a difference, okay? So from, this, from the start, so much of this pulling position, so much of this is as functional as it possibly get. What I really want to start by thinking is, how can we optimize starting position? Making sure that we establish peak capacity, peak ability to generate force and we're not giving it away by having a poor setup, a poor start, okay? So a couple key concepts. Let's go ahead and start by foot position. I'm going to be in a jumping position, wherever that feels comfortable for you. Roughly maybe the same position that you're going to clean from, the same position you're going to jump from. Let's get into that position. Hands just outside hips. Go ahead and reach over and grab your own thumb. That's the hook grip. Practice that hook grip in this iteration. Okay? Now check this out, gang. The first thing I'm going to do in this bottom position is going to talk about peak tension. Shins are going to be straight up and down. Bar is going to be to the shin, weight is on the heels, and I'm going to ask for a compromise. I want peak tension in the hamstrings, and I want chest up at the same time. Bar isn't rising, but I want to be peak tension, butt up and chest up. Butt up and chest up. I want them both. Now, see how my shoulders are sagging? I can tighten up further so that I generate sufficient tension in the hamstrings and upper back through the, te through the lats. My head is long. That if I add one more percent, the bar starts to travel. Does that make sense? This setup position is so crucial, especially as we get a little bit more complicated in the clean and the sumo deadlift high pull. I want you guys to be able to replicate this position blindfolded and inebriated.